Here's your premium post-market report for the E-mini S&P 500 for October 1st, 2013. In today's market, very, very interesting how price played off that 1668 level. 1668 was that key level we were talking about below. We mentioned late last week that 1680, uh, sorry, 1675, followed by 1668, those were the next two key levels to hit down below. 68 came with a bang. That level fired off program buying, which you can see here in a five minute time frame. This program buying, that is significant. When you see this type of body, uh, bar come in, that tells you some significant buys came in, sucked it up, and then we got a big rally up to 1681. So that was a, a very nice move off that level. Now, looking at the upcoming period of time here, how is it going to play out? Is this going to be an opportunity for um, you know, the buys to come in and take out 1690 and rally through this upper trend line? Or is price going to come up here, fill this gap at 85 quarter, and then get stuck and not be able to get past 1690? If that happens, that could be a lower high opportunity here, and we could be looking at a test at 1650 ahead, which is the next major key level below. 1625, 1650, those are the key levels down below that uh, where price could be headed if we cannot get back above 1690. So with today's high of 1681, the low of 1666.75, that gives us primary targets for the week at 1655.75 down below, followed by 1691.75 above. So those are the primary weekly targets. So if we can... Um, if we can identify one of these levels here as being the low for the week or the high of the week here, uh, heading into tomorrow's market, we could be playing to um, some key downside targets here at 1655. Uh, or we could be looking at that 1691.88, which is going to be 75, followed by 1700 quarter. So right now, those are the two key upside targets. The downside targets are 1655.75 and 1647.5. So that's it for right now. We'll see how this plays out.